then this light of the Lord will act as a weapon to break this. So Bhavasche Hechei. So the Rudra who is in the form of the weapon to break this Bhava, uh, Bhavasche Hechei, to him my salutation. He is the, because he is the Lord of the universes. He is the Lord of the universes. When we forget the Lord of the universe, we get into Bhava entangled more and more. When we once again turn, focus toward the Lord of the universe, then this breaks this bondage and liberates us. So Bhavascha Hechi, the Lord Rudra, who is in the form of the weapon to tear this, to break this bondage and liberate, so to him my salutation. <laughs> Samsara. World. It is not actually world, but it is the worldly experience. Samsara is the experience. <laughs> Samsara actually means the cyclic changes. <laughs> you are born as a child, hmm? then you are grown up, then you will be father or mother. Hmm? First you are child for your parents. Then you are a parent for your children. All is transformation. <laughs> and during this transformation, if you are you are conditioned, then you are in samsara, the bondage. So samsara is a bondage. As long as you have you you do not remember the Lord of the universe. When once you focus to the Lord of the universe, then there is no more a bondage. Then also you will be in these relationships. But you are not bound by this. <coughs> that is the change. Same as uh, Maya, the meaning. Yes, Maya means illusion. So, and this Maya or the illusion, that is what the Lord said. This morning we read in Bhagavad Gita, in this seventh chapter, we were reading that is the Maya different from the Lord or she is one with the Lord? This is the question. Where from this Maya is coming? The Lord said, she is, Maya is coming from me only. Daivi, Yesha, Gunamayi, this stanza we studied this morning. We read this stanza. Daivi, Yesha, Gunamayi, Mamamaya, Duratya. So this is, this Maya is the influence of the activity of the three Gunas. Tamas, Rajas and Sattva a combination of these three gunas, interaction of the three gunas. So this, this maya has the influence. So this maya, if maya is a part of me only, that is why she is also divine, that is what he says. Daivi, maya is divine. Uh, so those who surrender themselves to me, the I am, are not affected by this, that is what the Lord said. Mame vaye prapadjante, those who surrender to me, mayam etam tarantite, they will definitely cross this. <laughs> then, if you ask the Lord, if it is so, <coughs> why you should have this maya? It is my play, he says. <laughs> it is all a play of the Lord. You, we have no we have no right to question him why you should have this play. <laughs> you see, when the children are playing, uh, the children are playing, sometimes we, we do not understand what is what these children are playing, it is for us. It, and you call the child, why you are playing? He looks at it, what is this idiotic question? <laughs> the child, the children are playing very happily, and we cannot enjoy, we cannot play like them because we have all, we are grown up, we have all limitations. He is a good person, he is a friend, he is an enemy like this, all these nonsensical things. And children have no such things. So they can play very happily, easily. And they don't mind all these things. And then for us, oh, we feel that we are much wiser than the children. So we call the child and what for you are playing? He looks at us, what is this bloody question? 
we are we are privileged to play and enjoy and we are not able to play and we are asking the children why you are playing he laughs at us and then goes away he does not answer even so god is an eternal child so he always keeps playing and his play is all his creation so we have no right to ask him <laughs>